then it hit me. Good evening, my dudes. It is time to, what are we doing? Road to Hana. Woo! Tons and tons of waterfalls, viewpoints, excitement, adventure. So what I was trying to say until I realized I filmed that entire intro on in slow motion is that we got the crew rolling out. Just so stoked to be exploring this beautiful island, Maui. This is my first time here and we are at our first stop of the day. We got another plus one as well. Jake is actually, you're from Maui, right? Originally from Sacramento, but I've been here four years. Right on. Laura just took a huge log to the face. Yeah, I'll see that one first. Your face looks okay, though. It's like right here. I hit so hard. It's the second time I've been hit by a tree. So Jake was saying that his record is seeing 43 waterfalls in one day, and he's saying they're endless. So right now we got an epic squad jump going down. Three people, three heroes. Laura's gonna lead the way with a triple backflip. So you guys were like extremely well in sync. You guys could be a dive team. Where are we going now, guys? We're on our way to the next waterfall, man. That's the best thing about here is you never really know where you're going next because it could be raining here and then five minutes there, it could be sunshine. So we're just gonna follow the road and see where it takes us. But. Sounds like a plan. Bring it in. Nailed it. No, Who's ready for waterfall number two? Dude, I'm ready for waterfall number two. A little trick I'm gonna teach you guys. No. <laughs> hey, give me the shaka. The looser your shaka is, yeah. the more local you are. So this, you, you've obviously never been here. You right? basically this definitely not been here. Yeah. But if you just kind of just throw them out like that, <laughs> local right there. It's called the shaka. Yeah. Yeah. It's respect. It's like yeah, it could be hello, it could be goodbye, it yeah. could be yeah. Just kind of, sometimes I'll just raise them up, let up, just, <laughs> just barely like ha, yeah. And there's nobody here. Wow. So as I mentioned in the last video, I actually can't really name drop a ton. And the interesting thing is most of these waterfalls don't have names. Jake was saying earlier that this actual waterfall was featured in a magazine that was all about Maui and its hidden gems. After that release, it became an extremely popular tourist destination. He said that you'd basically not be able to come here without seeing 20 people but for some crazy reason, we're the only ones here. We're lucky that we're having that. It's Memorial Day here right now. We're paying a lot to be here, but we're not seeing too many crowds, which is actually really surprising. But we are getting lost. We're getting lost, so. We are about to ride in the back of our new friend's trunk, and yeah, there's some cars coming. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be all right. Oh, This is Hawaii style. It's actually legal here to ride in the back of a truck, so. It's crazy, yeah. like that shocks me. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> if you were able to do this back in the US mainland, So we're about 10 minutes up the path. We're going across this like metal drawbridge and now we're heading over there where we can see people repelling from the tall waterfall. I think the boys are gonna send it. Laura hates when I say that, send it. I don't normally say it, but. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. But Laura, what Maybe are you feeling? You gonna go for a jump today? No. No, no but a short jump? Maybe like a little bloop. A little bloop. A little bloop. Do it again, that was so graceful. This is not, not as graceful. <laughs> Kate's just like, nope. And it just doesn't look quite as sunny and like tropical as the one this morning, does it? It's very cold. But the water's super clear, which is tempting. I would wait alone. Well, I didn't lose my wallet, but I can't find it, so I give you sugar, Papa. 
<laughs> Sugar powers. <laughs> what are we gonna get? Tacos. Always. This is one of my favorite places in Maui. It's Black Sand Beach at Wainapanapa State Park. What I really like about it is the bunny ears, which is over there. It's like a little peace sign. One really funny thing that happens at the Hawaii Tourism Board is they'll get rocks mailed back to them from people. And the reason is uh, the legend of Pele, who's the fire goddess, um, the goddess of volcanoes. If you take one of her rocks, one of her pieces of sand from the island, um, you'll have bad luck following that. And so a lot of people that will think like, oh, this is super cool, like black sand, or oh, this you know red lava rock, or whatever it is, and they get home uh, and they start having some bad luck, or something goes wrong, and they want to try and remedy it, and so they try and mail the rock back. And so the tourism board actually has like <laughs> a lot of rocks, like a surprising amount, more than you'd think, of people that are trying to like say sorry, we didn't mean to, and send it back. That's and so good. They just have a bunch of rocks. As Dan explained, this is the black sand beach. It's kind of like a charcoal gray, so it's not super dark, but. It is beautiful. I'm gonna swim over there. I'm gonna assess the situation because I don't really want to jump 11 meters, which is like 36 feet, but I might. So we'll see. He's gonna send it. I love it. <laughs> Do you look so graceful, Christian? Show me what heaven could be. Mongoose sighting, this ferret looking creature just runs around the park terrorizing people. They're very cute. Oh, there's a mongoose in the trash. Where'd he go? So majestic right now. Can you see this? <laughs> So we've just arrived at the Red Sand Beach and as you can see here, we are basically at the base of an inactive volcano. You can actually go through tunnels where lava created a tunnel passage into the ground and now rivers run through it. Uh, you can actually do like a two hour hike to get to a really cool one according to Jake. Check this out. So all that rock right there is due to volcanic activity. This is the Red Sand Beach. Yeah. My feet really hurt right now. I thought we'd be in nice fine sands but it's like really sharp pebbles. Oh, is there an actual beach? Yeah, okay. A lot of beautiful things to see here, and I gotta say, Hawaii is probably my favorite place in the world for beauty, for development, for just comfort of travel. Like, it's, it's something else. This is the most diverse landscape that I've ever seen, and it's all here in one place, so I'm absolutely in love. So we are using the leftover ingredients to make some bomb AF nachos. This is basically our final moments. We've been traveling together now, the four of us, for like nine days. Dan was like a last minute addition, and it really like completed the trip. So Dan, thank you so much for coming, showing us Maui, and we've killed this trip. We're exhausted right now. You'd think that after traveling Hawaii, you'd be relaxed and rejuvenated. I'm just like ready to go home and sleep. I've ever been. Yeah, we've been hitting sunrises, sunsets every day. You guys probably already know this because you follow them, but they're awesome. So keep following them because they're awesome. But I had a super fun time this trip. Here, I don't have my wallet, but I'll pay you later. And make sure to check out everyone's socials here, they're linked down below. One of the awesome things about travel is that it develops relationships extremely quickly and you can definitely expect to see more travels with this amazing crew. This vlog's getting really emotional. I'm gonna cry. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit that bell button so that you're notified the moment the next series goes live. And if you want to see the rest of the Hawaii playlist, I'll have it linked down below so you can start from the very beginning and see the incredible adventures that we've had here. Let's get lost again in the next one. Um, oh.